in life that answer always shows up we just miss it overlook it or dismiss it when it doesn't look like the answer we wanted when it wasn't what we expected that answer always comes to invite you into something that is unfamiliar unexpected and something new because if the answer you already had was going to work you wouldn't be questioning and asking for something different you wouldn't be looking again and looking again and looking again. So don't miss that answer. Don't miss that open door and that opportunity because you have an idea of how you think you want it to go. But when you allow life to tell you what that answer is, it will be unexpected. It will be something you have to be open for. And I know, I'm stubborn. Now, there are things that you're not going to get me to move on because it's according to my faith. And it's a lot of other things that I'm willing to be flexible for. But I also use discernment. Because you have to be aware of what it is that you're asking. You have to be aware and open to how it shows up. And then you have to be aware of the source. Sometimes people will give you advice to do something. But their advice is rooted in selfishness. Self-preservation is a relationship killer. Selfishness is a relationship killer. Bitterness, unforgiveness. That answer can come from someone that has that. Can it be something you need? Yes. When that person is healed from that situation, they can give you some insight that will blow your mind. And you'll be like, how do you know that? That's because they've been through it. They've mastered it and they're free from it. But when you ask for something, it may not always show up how you expect, but you have to be open. And when you just have that feeling that you should do it, you should go with it and don't second guess it. Don't hesitate, move with it. Because that answer you've been looking for, it has shown up. You just overlooked it because you expected it to be and look a certain way. But in life, there's always a process. So you have to go through that process and sometimes you don't. But that's when your wisdom, your awareness, but ultimately is your maturity. When children don't get what they want, they cry. How many adults do you know cry because they don't get what they want? That's because you need to have that maturity to understand, this is my answer. And then try it out, do it. And you'll begin to find that you really like it that you enjoy it because you never know the process of what it is that you were told is going to happen for you. But when you trust that process and you lean not to your own understanding, it will be beautiful. And I say that because I am a prime example of it. I like being in the background. I'm okay if I don't get any appreciation, recognition, acknowledgement, nothing. I'm cool with that because I know my value. I know what the work I put in. And I know you can't recreate Britney. I know that you can't go and ask someone to do what I just did. And you can't try to fake the funk like I didn't do it. Because once I remove myself, you'll be looking for someone to fill it in. And it ain't going to happen. I'm the one and only. Just like you're the one and only. You offer something that no one else can find anywhere else. But how many times do we lack the maturity to understand it? Because we're looking for an answer that looks like something else when that answer is right there. And then we want to cry. But you had the answer. It didn't come to you wrapped in a bowl. It didn't come to you with whipped cream and a cherry on top. It may have come broken down or completely unformed like Play-Doh. But for me... That's when I thrive. When it's unformed, that's when creativity comes. Because I've now been given the answer for what it is that I wanted. Because the answer is, what do you call it? And then if it already comes together, it's, are you going to follow the instructions with what you need to do? Because I've already prepared you. I've already equipped you. And even if I didn't equip you, I've called you because you have the possibility and the potential to be equipped for this call. 
Many are called, few are chosen. To whom much is given, much is required. When you're faithful over little, you'll be trusted with much. When you're faithful over another's, you can be trusted with your own. It's so many scriptures that you can find. It's so many different quotes, premises, principles, thoughts, ideas. But when that answer comes, are you really ready for it? Because it will come. But the test is, even if it doesn't look how you think it would, are you ready for it? And if you are, you're going to rock with it. You're not even going to second guess it. And you know that everything that you need will be provided. So the question really is, when the question that you give brings an answer that you don't expect and it's unfamiliar, are you really ready? Or was it something you were just asking for because it sounded good? And so, good morning. I'm doing something a little different, if you can't tell by now. And I'm going to rock with it. Because this was an answer to one of my questions. And I'm despising not small beginnings. So, hasta luego. Peace.